Hey y'all, it's Aliana and I'm back here with another video. Welcome to another YouTube vlog. So I'm taking y'all along with me on my weekend. I really love doing my weekend vlogs because it just, I don't know, I feel like I've been able to cultivate balance, which I need. I feel like I've talked about this so much in my other vlogs, but this just allows me to romanticize just normal things in my life make it in a cinematic way so i hope you'll have been enjoying the vlogs i have my retainer in right now so that's why i sound a little weird i'm trying really hard not to have a list but it is what it is i did not wear it last night so i'm wearing it during my yoga class i have a yoga class at 9 15 i think it's an hour class so definitely need that but yeah so yoga class in a few Last night, I actually did a twist out. I didn't film the whole entire process because I blew out my hair and I just did a twist out and I tended to do flat twist in the front because I honestly really wanted to do this like silk scarf curls, but I was like, I'm going to yoga and I feel like it would have fell off in yoga anyway. So this is what I did. Hopefully the results turn out good because we have a reservation for dinner at 7 p.m. tonight we're doing our valentine's day plans today because um we did something really chill during the week you do in dallas um it's this sushi restaurant i think it's almost sake not sure not sure don't quote me on that but it's it's kind of like a fancy sushi restaurant it's really good and they have this like 13 course meal and i think my boyfriend is getting that which is insane we're excited about that so we'll be getting ready and also another thing we have to do after yoga i need to stop at the mall because i don't know what to wear and for some reason it's cold today the highest temperature it's re reaching today i can't even talk because of my retainer oh my god highest temperature today is going to be 46. are you kidding me it was just 71 on either wednesday or thursday and then yesterday it was pretty pretty warm it was in the high 60s so i'm really confused it was windy yesterday but it didn't feel as cold as it is today when i woke up the ac was on the fans were running because it was pretty warm last night and yesterday and then i woke up and it's like 68 degrees in here which is really cold to me so i was like what is happening so it's going to be really cold so i have to take that into consideration I was going to wear like heels and stuff, but I don't want my toes to be cold. So we'll figure that out, like outfit and stuff. Hopefully I find something at the mall. I'm not trying to spend like a ton of time at the mall because um, our reservation is at seven, which gives me peace of mind. I'm excited to get ready. I think I'm actually going to wear foundation because I haven't done like a full face of makeup in a really long time. So yeah, I've just been enjoying my concealer, blush, mascara, things like that, but I haven't worn foundation in a while. So, yes, I'm really excited to get ready later. And then tomorrow, definitely doing a Sunday reset. That's why I'm kind of in the corner right now because my apartment, if I showed y'all my apartment right now, I'm embarrassed about how it looks, but we are going to get it together. I was finally able to get in my favorite yoga instructor's class, but I think she switched her time because she used to do 8.30 to 9.15, and now she's doing the 9.15 class. 
The 915 class is usually hot vinyasa, which I've never done before. I feel like I would pass out in that class. I usually do like yoga fusion or yin yoga, which is like a more slower yoga. It's not my favorite, but yoga fusion is definitely my favorite yoga style because it integrates like all the different types of yoga flows so that is my favorite class and i was able to get in i have class pass which i really recommend if you are interested in taking fitness classes or you thrive in an environment where there's people around you because i personally do not like going to the gym by myself i need like a gym buddy or something and i also don't really like the gym environment so i'm so happy i got into yoga specifically hot yoga because i feel like i i said this in a previous vlog but it has made me so much more stronger i see more definition in like my abs my arms my legs and things of that nature so that's my favorite form of physical activity I talked about magic mind in a few of my other videos this is my last one and i have been loving the magic mind productivity shots so i need to go out and get some more later today but these are a game changer for me it gives me that extra boost that i need and i think i still have a discount code if y'all are interested in trying out a new um, supplement or just a new wellness shot to take so i will leave that on the screen and also in my description box All good, chug a look around, find one to see my type. Damn, my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Gallery of credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. back from yoga it's actually like really late well not late it's later in the day it's almost 1 p.m so went to yoga the flow was really really nice um it was focusing on the heart chakra so that was really nice we did a lot of hip stuff chest openers and core so i'm feeling really good right now um, after yoga, we went to Grapevine Mills. Grapevine Mills is a really nice outlet mall if you are in a shopping mood. And also, my boyfriend and I, we used to go there during the week to get our steps in because <laughs> it's like, it's a decent sized mall and a lot of the stores that I like are spread out. So I get my steps in, but I went to the mall because I needed something to wear dinner tonight and i was planning on ordering something offline um oh my gosh i was i was planning on buying something online but i just waited and waited and waited and then valentine's day came and now it's saturday for our reservation so i got something at forever 21 surprisingly i didn't really shop there growing up 
um, or whenever I went in there, I didn't like what they had. They always had words or quotes on their stuff, so I was like, I don't think I'm gonna find anything in there, but they were having like 50% off the whole entire store except for like certain items. So I went in there and I found this really classy dress that I think will be super cute. It's strapless. It is a maxi length, but I think it will be really cute. And then I got a cardigan to go over it and I'll probably wear like heels or something. Um, and I also got a necklace. I was like, even though this is fake, this is kind of cute and it was really cheap. So I think my total was like less than $40 and I got nipple covers, the dress, a cardigan, and a necklace, and it was less than $40, so win-win. Um, but then when we were on our way home, it was almost lunchtime, so we stopped at Chick-fil-A, and I got um, their cool wrap with grilled chicken. Super good. It's probably my favorite thing. When I was vegetarian, I even got that too. I just got a veggie cool wrap, but now that I eat chicken... I got the chicken wrap and it's really good I feel because after yoga even during yoga I was so hungry I was like I should have ate something before and then we had to run around the mall but now I'm back home um, I really wanted to stay in my pajamas and robe today but I got an email saying I have a package and I don't really know what it could be but it could be something fun it could be PR or something like that so I'm gonna walk to the mail center. I also need to walk Diesel skincare. I'm excited to get ready. I really hope my hair came out good. It's fully dry, but if something looks off, I do have a wand I could use. An updo or a bun can be the backup backup plan. But yeah, I'm going to head to the mail center and see what is in the mail because I'm kind of intrigued now. I didn't order anything that would get here today. I did do a little bit of online shopping yesterday. I only got two things from Princess Polly. I've never ordered from them before, but there's this dress that looks so pretty. So I hope it fits. I hope it's like everything's good for my vacation because yeah, that's coming up soon. But yeah, let's go to the mail center. Like that. 
attempting to do underpainting. I'm really scared. I have not used contour yet, but I can always wipe it off. So here goes nothing. done with my makeup I tried doing a wing liner this is my first time doing a wing on myself ever and I am using the Lancome ultra precise waterproof liner and this is in the shade hmm, matte syrup brown I really wanted to try this because it's brown and I did this wing Pretty good, I think, but this one is getting a little weird. Alright, so I blew out my hair. I feel like it will look better once I have my outfit on because right now it's looking a little wild. Um, and then I ended up shortening the wings because they were so uneven. And this is my first time doing a wing, and I was like, I don't want to look stupid or lopsided.
It is Sunday and I'm feeling really good. I went to bed kind of late yesterday, closer to one, but yesterday, last night, our dinner was so amazing. We went to Yuju in Dallas. It's a rest it's a Japanese restaurant and they specialize in like sushi. My boyfriend got the Miyabi, which is a 13 course meal, which includes appetizers specialty rolls there was even dessert it was just a great time and i've never we've never experienced something like that and my boyfriend went to japan before when he was younger and he just re was reminiscing about his time in japan and it was just really nice to be there with him and experience this with him it was our like delayed valentine's day date because our work weeks are just have been insane and we like pre-planned to have our valentine's day date um the weekend after valentine's day that experience was really really nice i was so excited to take my makeup off when i got home but yes it is sunday and my apart my apartment is in desperate need of a super sunday reset i just have been so exhausted after work to do a midweek reset lately like it's kind of insane but it's nothing i can't handle like it's not completely wrecked but it's definitely not clean so we are going to do a sunday reset for this apartment um and then we also need to go grocery shopping of biscoff cookies they're so good and my boyfriend just came home with donuts
Side note, I am waiting to run the dishwasher because it's not full. Um, I'll probably be able to run the dishwasher once we make dinner, but it's not completely full, so I'm not running it. I only run it if it's full, so. morning y'all it is monday i low-key forgot i have the day off today and i'm just feeling really good i did yoga made my lemon water had breakfast and now it is 11 16 i am taking diesel to the dog park and he is going to have a doggy play day to hurry up i did some heatless curls last night i tried a new method I was infamous for doing heatless curls when I was in high school and I don't know why I stopped doing them. Hopefully it turned out well. If not, it's going in a ponytail. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay, clearly I need to um, fluff them out and stuff, but they came out so cute. It came out super cute. I wish my roots were a little bit flatter. This is actually on blow dried hair. I only use this and I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna put a little bit more just to help with like a little bit of the frizz. To bring a hair tie because it is kind of windy. Of course, Lancome V Estebel. I'm going to need to buy another bottle soon. I've been wearing this like almost every day, but I've been switching it up with the Victor Ralph Flower Balm, the pink one. Um, Cause as you can see, I'm making an extreme dance in this. If you like really masculine scents or more woody sandalwood, etc., or your partner or boyfriend or whatever, is in need of a new fragrance i definitely recommend hero by burberry i got this for my boyfriend for valentine's day and it smells so good i haven't heard anything about this but also i'm not like super into like perfume talk or fragrance talk or whatever very happy with the results i definitely will do it tighter in the front but i didn't do like makeup because we're going to the dog park but it's so nice outside it's almost in the 60s today and um i just have on mascara and did my eyebrows and spf obviously but after we get back from the dog park probably we'll eat lunch and then i wanted to go to a coffee shop to work on a youtube video but i kind of don't want to like go too far from home so i remembered my apartment complex has like a clubhouse and a working area and it looks super cute it actually looks like a coffee shop and kind of like they have booths and stuff it's super cute and then they also have this coffee machine but it's like bring your own cup so i think that would be cute so we'll probably be going there after and then i need to go grocery shopping i think i showed y'all when i was going through the cookbook and then for my bag i think i'm just going to wear this because it's lightweight and I can put everything I need in there. Hey y'all, we are back from the dog park. Diesel had so much fun. Drinking some coffee. Probably gonna take like a really nice nap. I put my hair up because it was super windy and I didn't want it to get messed up, but I really like the little curly pieces. For lunch, I'm going to have my leftover pad thai. We ordered out yesterday because we have not gone to the grocery store yet, but we're going later. I still wanna go to the clubhouse so I can work. I eat lunch, I just wanted to say Hey y'all, I'm back from the dog park. Super, super fun. Um, and I was there with someone from my neighborhood. As I've said this in like another vlog, but I'm really trying to create community and friends here in Dallas because I'm a homebody, but I hung out with someone from my neighborhood. So we got to connect more and our dogs really like each other. They've seen each other in the neighborhood and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, Diesel has so much fun. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna eat some pad thai. y'all hey it is actually tuesday i ended up not going to the grocery store but i went today and i made my favorite quick and easy meal i haven't made this in a really long time like a few months but i love making chicken salad sandwiches but 
I'm using bagels instead. I'm also filming on my phone, so sorry about the quality. I look kind of crazy, but I need to end this vlog. Thank y'all so much for spending time with me this weekend. I hope you have a great week, weekend, whenever you're watching this, and I will see y'all in my next video.